Good day, everyone. Here I am again. This is Teacher Bell, and welcome to another learning opportunity here on Lessons Made Easy. Today, we will talk about division. The concept of division is simply to divide, share, or put quantities into equal groups. Sharing or dividing has to be done equally or evenly. So stick around and let's get started. Let's try this example. Suppose you have 20 divided by 5. If we share 20 into equal groups of 5, how many groups can you make? Let's see. A group of 5, another 5 that makes 10, another 5 that makes 15, and we can still make one more to get an equivalent of 20. So let's count how many groups of 5 we can get from 20. We have 1, 2, 3, and 4. So 20 divided by 5 is equal to 4. Looking at the given example, you can easily divide any number by referring to the multiplication table. So in the expression 20 divided by 5, we can look at the 5 times table. Starting with 5 times 1 equals 5, 5 times 2 equals 10, 5 times 3 equals 15, and 5 times 4 equals 20. We stop at 20 since we already reached the number that we should divide. As you can see, we grouped 5 four times to complete the exact number, which is 20. Each of these number in the expression 20 divided by 5 equals 4 has a name. 20 is called the dividend. 5 is the divisor, and 4 is the quotient. In a division problem, you can check if our answer is correct. But how? We can take the quotient, multiply by the divisor, and this would be equal to the dividend. In this case, the quotient is 4 times the divisor 5. This would give us the dividend of the same number, which is 20. This means our answer is correct. In our previous example, we have 20 divided by 5 equals 4, where 20 is the number to be divided called the dividend. 5 is the divisor or the number that tells how many in each set or group. And 4 is the quotient or the answer. But suppose we have a different expression like this one, 32 divided by 9. Earlier we learned in solving division problem, we can refer to our multiplication table. Since our divisor is 9, so let's check out the 9 times table. 9 times 1 equals 9. 9 times 2 equals 18. We keep on going by adding another group of 9 that makes 9 times 3 equals 27. Notice that we are very close to 32. But if we continue with 9 times 4, we get 36, which is already beyond the given number to be divided, which is only 32. In other words, we can't complete another set of 9. Let's stop at 9 times 3 equals 27. However, from 27 to 32, we still have 5 left, and this is called the remainder. Clearly, in number 32, we can get three sets of nine with five as the remainder. In short, 32 divided by nine equals three remainder five. But how do we check if our answer is correct when there is a remainder? So just the same, take the quotient, multiply by the divisor, plus the remainder. And all this must be equal to the dividend. So in this case, the quotient is 3 times the divisor 9 that makes 27 plus the remainder 5 altogether is equal to 32, which means that our answer is correct. This time, let's try the long division using multi-digit dividend. Let's say 378 divided by 2. Regardless of how many digits there are in the dividend, we still need to divide one digit at a time. 
So we'll start with 3 divided by 2, we get only 1. And then we multiply 1 by 2, we get the same number 2. We write this under the digit 3. Then subtract 3 by 2, we still have 1 left. Then take down the second digit 7 that makes our number 17. Divided by 2, we get 8. And 8 times 2 equals 16. Then subtract this number 16 from 17. Again, we have 1 left. Take down the third digit 8. Now we have 18. Divided by 2, we get 9. And 9 times 2, we get exactly 18. So when we subtract, we have nothing left. There you have it. 378 divided by 2, we get an exact quotient of 189. Let's try using the same number 378 as the dividend, but change the divisor to 5. Again, we have to divide one digit at a time. Let's take 3 divided by 5. Notice that 3 is not big enough to make a group of 5. So up here, we write 0 to indicate that the number isn't enough. But if you chose not to write 0, then that would be fine. Although 3 may be too small, it has other companion in a number. Let's use 7 as well. So instead of 3, we now have 37 divided by 5. With 37, we can make 7 sets of 5. 7 times 5 gives us 35. Subtract this number from 37, we have 2 left. Take down the last digit 8. We now have 28 divided by 5, we can make 5 sets. However, 5 times 5 is only 25. Subtracting this number from 28, we still have 3 left. This means 378 divided by 5 will give us a quotient of 75 with a remainder of 3. What about dividing with a double digit divisor? Let's say 5,375 divided by 25. In this example, our divisor is 25, which should be used at once. Let's start with 5, which obviously is not enough to be divided by 25. So let's use 3 as well. Now we have 53, which is big enough to be divided by 25. We can get 2, which should be written right above digit 3. And multiply 2 by 25 would give us a product of 50. Then subtract 50 from 53, we still have 3 left. Now take the next digit 7, making the number 37 divided by 25. We can have 1, and 1 times 25 is just the same number 25. Then subtract from 37, we have 12 left. Take the remaining digit 5, the number is now 125 divided by 25. We can have 6 group. And 6 times 25, we get exactly 125. In this case, we have a quotient of 216 with no remainder. What about a triple digit divisor like this one? 7,809 divided by 150. 150 consists of three digits. It is just wise to also take the first three digits in the dividend. That would be 7, 8, and 0 or 780. 780 divided by 150, we can have 5, which should be written above 0. So 5 times 150 is equal to 750. Subtract this number from 780, we still have 30 left. Take the last digit 9, making the number 309, Divided by 150, we get 2. And 2 times 150 is equals to 300. 309 minus 300, we still have 
nine left. It means that seven thousand eight hundred nine divided by one hundred and fifty, we have a quotient of fifty two with nine as the remainder. If you're already familiar with the concept of division, I suggest you should also try using the short method. See this example. 6,759 as our dividend to be divided by 3 as our divisor. Let's start with the first digit 6 to be divided by 3. We get exactly 2 with no remainder. So we can move on to 7. 7 divided by 3, again we can make 2 sets. However, 2 times 3 is only 6. So we still have extra 1. To be combined with the next digit, that is 5, making the number 15. And 15 divided by 3, we get exactly 5 with no remainder. Then move on to the last digit, 9. Divided by 3, we get 3. So there you have it. 6,759 divided by 3, the quotient is 2,253. Before we finally end our lesson, check out these words and phrases related to division. Words like divide, quotient, share, which has to be done equally or evenly. Division is also the same as putting into equal groups or sets. So that's it. I hope you now have a better understanding about the principles of division. And that would be all for this lesson. And if you find this video useful, Hit the like button and share to people you know, for this may also be helpful for them. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more educational videos only here on Lessons Made Easy. Once again, this is Teacher Bell saying thanks for watching, stay safe, and see you again in our next lesson.